Hey everyone, I hope you're having a flare-free day. My name is Em and I'm an endometriosis advocate. In today's video, I wanted to talk about leg pain and endometriosis. Now I find that leg pain is a very common symptom that occurs with endo for a lot of us, but it isn't talked about as often as other endo symptoms, like painful periods, fatigue, nausea, irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, or even infertility. In this video, I wanted to dive into leg pain specifically about what it could feel like in relation to endo. I also wanted to dive into what the research has currently said about the cause of that leg pain when it comes to endo. Leg pain was my very first endometriosis warning sign for my very first flare up. I was on the way to high school. I felt a weird upper right thigh pain. Lo and behold, 20 minutes later, I was in the middle of my high school hallway having my very first flare up. If you haven't seen that video or me talking about that experience, you can find that video here. So let's dive into leg pain and endo. And if you experience leg pain with endo, I'd love to hear how you manage that pain every month in the comments down below. I'm not a doctor or medical practitioner. I'm just talking about my own personal experiences as well as my research done as an endometriosis patient. If you feel anything new or different or concerning with your body, it's always good to have it checked out by a doctor. So the first question you might be wondering is, how common is leg pain with endometriosis? Now an individual may experience pain in the lower half of their body, including their lower pelvic region, within their upper thighs, and down their legs, if the condition of endometriosis impacts the nerves within the pelvic region. Now research into leg pain with endometriosis is fairly new. Uh, there isn't a lot of research on endometriosis as this video is being filmed. We do know certain things, but there is still much more work to be done. The 2016 report had outlined that those suffering with endometriosis half of those individuals experience leg pain every single month when it comes to their menstrual cycle. That degree of pain within their leg transitions and everyone's pain threshold is different, but having that leg pain experience within the upper right thigh or upper left thigh, down the legs or into the toes was prevalent around half. Now, a recent outline of endometriosis prevalence is one in 10. I know Australia has a new report stating one in nine have endometriosis. so. If half of those individuals experience leg pain, then I think it's more common than we all think. Now, leg pain when it comes to endometriosis is a little bit of a different sensation when it comes to just regular leg soreness or pain. When you have regular leg pain outside of endometriosis, it might feel like a muscle strain or a pull or soreness. Now, when it comes to endometriosis and leg pain, that symptom might feel a bit sharper. For myself personally, I felt uh, somewhat of like a knife type sharpness poking at the inner muscle of the, the leg. It felt like the muscle had deeper infiltrating soreness within the muscular tissue of the leg and just felt warm and, um, and a a little bit cramping, like a period cramp within that upper right thigh for me. I felt that pain alongside pelvic pain. So when I had my full on endometriosis flare up, my leg would feel that pain as well. Now mine was the upper right thigh. You could have upper left thigh or outer left thigh. You could have down your legs or into your toes. If you have any leg pain associated with your menstrual cycle, it definitely could be a sign of endometriosis. The pain when it comes to endometriosis leg pain may worsen right before your menstrual cycle. It may continue during your menstrual cycle and it can linger after your menstrual cycle. You might also feel it in your hips, in your buttocks, <laughs> and anywhere below your pelvic region. In some severe cases, that endometriosis like pain in the legs can worsen over time. So you might be wondering, why does this happen during my menstrual cycle or outside of my menstrual cycle? In 2016, there was a lab study done that outlined that endometriosis can cause additional pressure on pelvic nerves. This may lead to additional numbness in the hips, buttocks, and lower legs. Unfortunately, leg pain associated with endometriosis can be associated with endometriosis growths on the sciatic nerve, known as sciatic endometriosis. The sciatic nerve is one of the largest nerves in the body. It begins in your lower back and runs through your pelvis, down your legs, and into your foot branching into smaller nerves along the way. Pressure on the sciatic nerve caused by endometriosis tissues, lesions, and deep nodules can cause that additional pain down your leg. Now to diagnose endometriosis leg pain might be a bit tricky as doctors might think that it may be associated with something else that you've done in your day, such as do you play sports? Are you really active? Did you pull it during an exercise or did you tweak it in your sleep? They might run additional tests, rule out any other things that might be causing that leg pain. Oftentimes, especially with me, and I don't know if it's the same with you, but my leg pain was associated with other symptoms of endometriosis at the time. 
So although I felt that leg pain, I also experienced extreme amounts of brain fog, fatigue, crazy amounts of endo flare and that pain in that lower pelvic region when I had that period cramping. But when it comes to diagnosing endometriosis leg pain, it's really important to bring your journal when it has all those symptoms and when they happen and occur to outline to your doctor that, hey, it's not just leg pain I'm experiencing, it's all these other things that I've jotted down that are before, during, and following my menstrual cycle. That information can really help lead to a suspected endometriosis diagnosis with your doctor. Now living with endometriosis and leg pain, I know how difficult it can be to get rid of that leg pain. Now I can't promise you that these things I'm gonna say will reduce it or get rid of it completely, but these are the things that I do to kind of mitigate that feeling or pain during the moment. The first thing that I do is when I recognize that leg pain for me, it's usually a warning sign that a larger flare up is coming. If that's the same for you, then what I would recommend is grabbing your essentials for dealing with an endometriosis flare up. So for myself, I try and understand that I need to find a bed or a couch to lie down and rest during that painful flare-up. I need to grab my medication. I need to make sure that I have a hot water bottle on hand if the time permits to have that hot water bottle as well as anything else that may help me during a flare. Now I know too that warning signs can come really quickly before a flare up. So if I have that leg pain, what I do is use my thumbs to really massage in that leg, go into that upper right thigh for myself and just kind of massage it and deep breathe while doing that massage. It can really help reduce that tension and cause my body to recognize that it's okay to relax. Sometimes it doesn't work, but that's something that I go to just to kind of address that pain. Next thing that I do is try and have a hot water bottle on hand or a heating pack. I put that on the spot on the leg that's feeling that intense amount of cramping during a flare up. Now, I don't know about you, but during a flare up, I often sweat <laughs> and that's a sign that my body is overworking and cramping a lot. So sometimes cool can be better than heat. So if you are the same type of person, then I would suggest getting an ice pack and having that on hand. Other things that you can do are lying down and resting. Rest is oftentimes a trigger to your body to release those nerves that are being inflamed. Child's pose from yoga is also a great position to get yourself in. I find having my legs wider spread out during that child's pose can reduce that swelling, but it may not be a great position during an endometriosis flare up. So try and find a position that works for you and your body. I know how difficult it can be, so try and just find a side that you feel comfortable lying down on during that leg pain. Being dehydrated can also cause a lot of pain and inflammation throughout the body. So I recommend having a water bottle on hand to always keep hydrated and to reduce the amount of inflammation and swelling that might occur and cause leg pain with your endo flare. Those are just some of the things that I do to get rid of my leg pain naturally during an endo flare or after one. But if you have any other recommendations to get rid of leg pain during an endo flare, please feel free to comment them down below because I'm sure that will help someone else in their journey. With that, I hope this video has helped and I will talk to you on the next one.